lots to do today because we have an unexpected trip coming up, you guys. And I have got to meal prep for it. Yes, I do, so I'll bring you guys along. So come on and let's get started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry and our little dog is Miss Little Sally Girl. She's our little chihuahua and you'll see her occasionally in our videos, especially if we mention the word eggs or bread, because she loves it. And yes, you can have bread as long as it's the uh, egg white protein keto bread that I make at least because I know what's in my ingredients. Anyway, you guys, what are we supposed to be doing today? Now, we're changing things up just a little bit because Harry has his um, colonoscopy tomorrow, so we are basically fasting together. I'm not going to eat in front of him. So, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll have like a little fat bomb or something. I ain't going to bother me. But other than that, the good news is, you know, um, what do you do if you're having a procedure and you're keto? Because the first thing they tell you is, you know, you can have fruit juices, you can have apple juice, you know, you can have uh, clear liquids. You can't have anything orange, red, or purple because of the dye. So you just change the apple juice and the fruit juice over to bone broth. You know, you can have black coffee, you can have teas, and he can have bone broth. Now. His is a little bit different this time because you do half today and half you have to get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow before the procedure and do the other half. So you've got two. So 4 p.m. is the one. 4 a.m. is the next one. So we have to be careful what Harry it's eats It's going to be today. a really interesting drive there. Yes, it? it is going to be extremely interesting because it's about an hour drive to where we need to go. Yes. And he has to be done two hours with the last glass of water because you chase it down with water. Uh, lots of sodium, potassium, magnesium, basically. So he's gonna be all nice and squeaky clean. Anyway, you guys, so today he's supposed to check his, we're supposed to do a food test, chicken or glucose at 30, 60 in a two hours. So what I thought was, is we will check during the day on our fasting state. Now we did have a cup of coffee this morning. Yes, we did. Uh, we measured first thing this morning with our waking fasting glucose and ketones so i'm going to insert that here good morning everybody we are testing our glucose and ketones for y'all we went out to dinner last night let's see how it did oh no no thing in there sorry mm -hmm. i i forgot to finish huh mm -hmm. Your butter's over there. I know. Making I'm, noises. I know. Ooh, 0 0.8. Your body, you want some 1.0s. You got no little wipe off thingies? Just dab it on your little. One oh eight. Threw some unsweetened butter in the pan because I'm going to make something delicious. My brain went crazy again last night. Yes, it did. Okay, where is my phone? Oh, point three. Yay! Here, you're gonna need this. Hold this, honey. Wait a minute, I've gotta stop this flood. 87. There, there it is. Right there. 108. 0 0.8, 7.5, I am in uh, low level GKI ketosis. Oh my gosh. Harry's not in anything. Nope. Harry's in La La Land, yes he is. Got it. And throughout the day we will check our glucose. And then at the end we will check our glucose and ketones because I think that's a great opportunity to do it on a fasting state. One of our viewers mentioned that. She said, you know, you guys have never done it 
uh, your glucose and ketones on a fasting day. And I thought, you know what, that's appropriate for today. We have to be done by 4 p.m. because that's when he starts his first, his first bottle. He has to get this whole bottle down and then so much water. They tell him how many glasses of water. And this is this delicious stuff. Oh yeah. Of course, putting it in the refrigerator makes it much easier to digest because at least it's cold. And then at 4 a.m. this in the morning, he's gonna have to wake up or not go to bed, depending on how late he gets the video up. He has to drink this one, but this has to be totally gone. All the water has to be totally gone by 7.30. And I'm thinking sooner than that because of, like Harry said, the drive there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you guys, next week, is mine but I have to do something totally different because in and here's the deal check any tests you get from the doctor to take whether it be at home or where you're going and ask them if it has sugar any sugar in it at all because you can have a reaction from the sugar alone that they give you and find out if there is an alternate one that has sugar free this one happens to have aspartame. Most of them do now. I cannot take any of those. So I'm gonna be taking, get this, 64 ounce container of Miralax. It's the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. So I'm next week, Harry's this week, but you guys, for those of you who are brand new, you heard about Arvita. I showed you the recall on our awning and the very next day after we had a monsoon, my awning ripped apart off the top of Arvita and fell. We had a mobile unit come out, take it off and put it underneath and tie it. Well, I have been going back and forth with Grand Design, the manufacturer for this recall and Tucson uh, Lazy Days where we bought it from. So Tuesday, the day after Harry has his colonoscopy, we need to drive it 120 miles one way with it all tie wrapped up. There, we have to get a 13 foot awning inside Arvita because they have to have the awning too because they have to ship it back to Grand Design. They will not come out here. I've been playing this game with them. They have to have a technician look at it. They said it will take 10 minutes to look at it and then decide what they need to do. They need to check to see if the arms work correctly, if the mechanism works correctly, if the running lights across the top work correctly so that they can order the correct parts. So we've decided Lazy Days RV has an RV resort right there. We decided we might as well have a fun time. We might as well um, rent a space for two days figure this all out, see how soon, whatever parts they need to order for us. And it's all free, it's just getting it there. Um, and making sure we get there safely on I-10 freeway where all the huge trucks go. Um, if there's any wind, haboobs happen out in that neck of the woods. So getting it there safely, having them look at it, doing a total test diagnostic on it, order the parts and figure out, should we leave RV there for a week? Are the parts coming in a week? Are they coming in two weeks? And go from there. But we are gonna be leaving on Tuesday. So I, and I'm taking Harry uh, to and from uh, the colonoscopy procedure tomorrow. So I've got to prep today. So we have to go shopping because all my meat and stuff is frozen. So we need to go shopping. I need to go to Costco because I want to get some more unsalted butter. I like my uh, fat bombs and the little treats and stuff that I plan on making throughout the holidays now in the molds. I have several ideas, including um, one that I'm going to make today that I thought about um, in the small mode so I can do pieces at a time. But with doing the unsalted butter, I can add a pinch of butter once I make it with the mix with keto chow or cream cheese or whatever I'm gonna make and salt it my way with better salt than I can by having the Kerrygold butter that's already salted. Kerrygold has a lot of salt in it, it's delicious, but I wanna get it unsalted. So I'm gonna get a couple of containers of unsalted Kerrygold butter. I need to get another thing of eggs. I need to go get meat. Need to do all the things, so you guys, I'll be bringing you along with us. So you guys come back in the next segment.
Okay, you guys, that's the coffee going in the background, but I wanted to make myself, I thought about making mini pumpkin spice cheesecake bites. Yes, I did. So you guys, I browned my butter. It's browned. I'm gonna add a capful of a vanilla extract. This is homemade and if it gets hot, it bubbles very quickly, so. Okay, you wanna let it cool just a dinky winky bit or it'll kind of explode on you. I have a one tablespoon of Bestie brown sugar. Go in here and melt this deliciousness. Mm. How many of you guys go to bed and think of recipes? I did. Ooh, that smells delicious. I have got pumpkin spice sweet drops as my sweetener because I'm putting in four ounces of cream cheese. I have eight ounces of unsalted butter. I'm gonna put two squirts of my pumpkin spice sweetener in here to taste. I put in one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna put in my melted, just melted cheesecake in here. Get my whisk out. Now I am going to add in about a quarter of a teaspoon of pumpkin spice seasoning because I'm going to use a pumpkin spice caramel um, keto chow in here. If you guys don't have pumpkin spice keto chow, just use vanilla protein powder and then make the spice spicy enough that you can taste your pumpkin. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And then just go through here and stir it up. Now I am gonna melt, I'm gonna get this all stirred up and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator in this big block because I wanna come back and whip it. So I'm going to let this set up in the refrigerator and I want to come back and blend this really, really, really good once it's cooled off and ready to whip. So there it is. Ooh, it's hot. So if you have room in the freezer, you can put it in there for about three to five minutes just to get it a little bit thicker, but I'm putting mine in the refrigerator just for a minute or two. Someplace. Yeah. Harry's got his stuff going. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment. You guys, I tasted this from my original, What if you guys will see that, and now I'm bringing it out. I've decided to add two more ounces of cream cheese, so a total of six ounces cream cheese. I just want it more creamy cheesy. Creamy cheesy. Creamy cheesy. I am adding an additional scoop for a total of two tablespoons of Bestie brown sugar. So are these when you get the brown sugar on the the Ziploc thingy, it doesn't it doesn't stay zippied very well. So are these what? And then one, let me, let me finish this here yep. before you start asking questions because my brain has to think. And that's hard for me to do in the morning. One, two more. Pumpkin spice. So let me stir this up because I'm gonna whip this. Now these are still considered a fat bomb but I'm calling it just a um, cheesecake fat bomb. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good idea. So these aren't BBBE, these are No, these this are is keto, just right? Wendy wants, Wendy wants pumpkin spice <laughs> cheesecake. So these are called Wendy and Wants I Cheesecake. Thought, what better way to do it? We're going to be going in our Vita, right? And we we have notoriously bought snacks like a Quest cookie or something. And instead, 
I've got a sweet treat for us, right? That's what I thought. So well, I'm wondering if I'm going to need something to help me regulate myself after tomorrow. That's why we're going to go shopping for food. You know what I mean? Today? Yes, I do. You're going to be squeaky clean. You're not going to have to worry. Here. Now, come back in over here because I'm just going to beat this up. I'm just trying to whip it. Whip it good. Whip it real good. What about the cream cheese? Well, I think it cooked a little bit because the butter was boiling hot. All right, right. So I don't know. Let's see. I don't think it'll hurt it at all, but it acts more like cooked cream cheese. I cooked it. I do know when I put a tablespoon, a teaspoon, excuse me, of the vanilla in, it all bubbled over, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But it was really hot. It was very hot. Now let me taste this. Mmm, that looks delicious. Yes, it does. It does look good, though. Let me get a spoon. So, a lot of you are wondering, am I jealous because I can't have any of this stuff? Well, yes, I am. It's terrible. You gotta smell it in here. That's he that. Wow. That's like pumpkin pie. She's doing it to me on purpose. That's like pumpkin, pumpkin cream pie. She's doing yes, this to me is. on purpose. No, no. It's just, it's just ah. so good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Oh, I'm unplugging first, Harry, before I do this. And yes. you guys, so many of you are so sweet and lovingly telling me espresso. It's es es espresso. Espresso. Well, I say espresso. I say chimile. I say albums because when I was little, that's how I pronounced it. And you guys, I'm 68 and a half. And if I remember and I cognitively think about it first, I may call it es espresso but otherwise you're gonna hear espresso so just note it that's Wendy talk for espresso yes yes Wendy's from the valley <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's from somewhere I don't know if it's on this planet though so here I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to lick the beater I'm sorry dear I'm sorry I'm sorry Okay, now we gotta get these in the molds. You guys, I'm telling you, I, I, I need a little bit bigger mold. I need like full size because this is, oh my gosh, this is just like pumpkin pie filling that has like cream cheese added. It's just, oh, so good, so good. We're gonna trowel these into the molds. Yes, we are. Did you guys ever do any troweling at all? And if you didn't, you will now because you just want to trowel it over the top, smash it in gently, and then just take your it's just like doing spatula. Tile. It's just like doing tile if you've ever done tile work. You just need a wider blade. Yes. There we go. Well, with tile, you would let it set up and then you would do an acid wash over the top to get it off. Well, after a light, dries, yeah. light acid, acid wash, but we don't need to do that, you guys. <laughs> no, we do not. There. There's that one. Yeah, you just need a nice wide blade. You actually. guys, I'm telling you, this would be great in a like a real Reese's Pieces size cup size because this stuff, I'm telling you, is heaven. Oh, my God. Brown butter, cream cheese, brown sugar all day long. This would, if you have a recipe for your favorite um, uh, crust, <laughs> make this and just put it in a pie dish because I'm telling you, it is heaven. Now, it's going to be calorically dense because you've got eight ounces of butter, right? Six ounces of cream cheese and... Uh, about a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spy, pie spice. And if you guys don't want pumpkin pie, do apple pie. Ooh, apple pie. 
Ooh, apple pie keto chow. And if you guys don't have and you can't get keto chow, use a vanilla protein shake powder that you like, that you've used, that's got clean, healthy ingredients, right? Um, and then add like a Grimberry Farms. Rich is wonderful. He's given us a 5% discount, so type in Gremlin. That should be listed at the bottom below. Get your holiday flavor extracts now. Yeah, we're not, well, we're you not can. affiliated with him. Or we're, anything he like that. is just a great guy. I met him uh, through my girlfriend, Karen, who lives in Washington State, who is a fabulous baker. Karen, you know you are. She's a fabulous cook. She told me about him, and she said, Look, you can get him less expensive through Rich. You know, he's a local, and I think you've, he's moved to. Um, Alaska Rich, let me know for sure if that's what you've done, but you guys, he's awesome. He does a Friday giveaway for a $20 gift coupon to his store. So you guys, if you're not a part of Loving It on Keto with Wendy Fan's Facebook group, it's free to you. We have a great group of like-minded folks on there. There's no keto police. There's no wrong way to do keto. If it works for you and you're losing weight, feeling great, you are reversing any diseases that you may have. Uh, if you're just helping a remit put your uh, autoimmune diseases in remission, then you go for it. That's what I say. So anyway, Rich is awesome. And you guys, you, all you need to do is comment. He goes through. He picks a number, he counts the comments, and that's how you win. So, and that's his Friday. He's been doing that now, oh, a year, yeah. I think. I think we met him right before the holidays, if I'm not mistaken. But you guys, everybody runs out of seasonal stuff. If you need pumpkin spice, pie spice, you might need your apple pie spice. You need any of those holiday spice flavors, you need to go get yours now while they're in stock because everybody is having issues straight across the board with getting um, products that, that, you know, refills on stuff, you guys. There still is a challenge with um, deliveries. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, we all know that. You guys look at that. So these are gonna go in. They're gonna go into my refrigerator first, then my freezer. And I guess I'm just going to have to put that in a little square. And then you guys don't even need molds. You guys can use a square pan. So many of you have answered people. Put parchment paper down. Put aluminum foil down. You know, and make little squares. Yeah, put, put it in the freezer so it kind of hardens. So they get hard, a little yeah. better firm, or in the refrigerator, which is what I do. Because I don't have a space for a whole rack. I can sneak each little uh, container in separately, but yeah. I don't have a lot. So you can put it in as a full sheet in yes. the refrigerator till it kind of hardens a little bit, right? Yep. And then take it out, cut it into squares, and then put it in the freezer. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, and then bag it and tag it for later. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If I think she missing, likes it. If you're missing pumpkin pie in your life. Oh my gosh. This is free. I know what I'm having when I get back tomorrow. Okay. And then I'm taking these with us uh, in our Vita down yeah. to Tucson. So we'll have them grab and go so we don't have to buy anything that's not. You want to face clean, this clean, so clean. we can see you? I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I'm going to be in heaven right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to take them down to Tucson with us, you guys. Anyway, these are ready to go in. I'm going to pop them in the refrigerator, you guys, and we'll get on and out the door so we can go to Costco. I'll bring you guys along with me. We're at Costco. They've got vital pro proteins, collagen peptide, unflavored for BBBE. If you want to do it, I know Dr. Kim Berry says you don't need it, but um, chocolate. And it's on sale for $22.99. You're losing hair and stuff, I say take collagen because it helped me. It helped me. It helped. Uh, it's still Damn, helping. Wow, look at this. 
the carrot hay supreme plus is on sale for 99.99 if you guys use the cake cup pods you put your water in here it's a small space on your counter i see yeah see it's just a small space small space and its depth is uh hold your hand up there okay i'll do mine okay right so here. you can see the depth yeah it's about eight inches holds a lot of water too look at that yep it does 78 ounces of water which is nice but you guys those of you who work outside in the snow and in the winter look they've got pendleton stanley pendleton thermal bottles you guys and they're on sale for 23.99 you can get it in green you can get it in beige we really look those into that nice. stuff because we because i used to work outside in the you snow know, should we get one of these for um our mule for coffee do we have them yeah i'd get one do you want green or do you want beige the one that goes with the with the with the rig well the rig is red of course look at this one i think that's great to have yeah you get two half sheets one small sheet baking ware it's nordic and it's 19.99 you guys that's great for the holidays yeah, thank you. <laughs> appreciate you nice for the holidays they're going fast. Oh yeah, I like that. And look at the truck. They've got a Tom, they got an Autumn Harvest. Pick your own. Look at the truck has got a cute back on it. Cute, cute. Oh, this one's got orange. Cute. Lots of pillows. Lots. So what'd you find? Well, Bethany instant messaged me and said, look what they have at Costco. And we were coming anyway. And I just got my butt. Now, this isn't quite Buffalo checked. Well, this checked. helped make the decision to come This here. isn't quite Buffalo checked. And this one's the large because I want it baggy on me. Yeah, because um, you'll stay warmer I don't that way. If a large or an extra large. Oh, yeah, that, that's nice. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, actually. And I want it baggy. Yeah. So I can layer it. Well, yeah, it'll keep you warmer that way because it'll hold the heat out. They have red, too. Oh, there you go. But I like, no, I want this one. All right. You guys, they're on sale. Look, they're on sale for $10.99. $10.99. Yes, it's cured with salt, sugar, you know. It's, all, all of them are. But... Yes, but it's zero calories. It's 60 calories a slice. You're making bacon for us, right? Oh yeah. We make a bunch of it tonight. Since I'm gonna be near the bathroom anyways, I figured, you know. Well, I'm gonna get two. <laughs> I already got a pair of slippers. Yep. 19 bucks, I think you were. Let's go into the dairy and get an egg and some unsweetened Kerrygold butter. Ready. There's 16, two packets. Three 
32. So, yep. That's good. I guess I like making salad sandwiches too. Thanks. Come on. It's cold in here. Reminds me of being in Washington, opening up the front door during the winter time. Man, that's cold. Celsius is 1999, and you guys get 15. If you're into the Celsius, these are clean ingredients, I believe. Let's see. Here, look right here. Two grams of carbs, and then what is it? What has it got in it? Let me read it. It's surplus. Do you want these to go with us in the rig? Yeah, we'll try them out. Well, two hundred milligrams of caffeine per serving. I don't, I don't want to get them. That's I too much. I would rather get nice sparkling water. Because I like to drink a lot of coffee. Well, and... The problem is I can't drink that kind of. Yeah. Water. You guys, LaCroix, a case is on sale for $8.79. And we got the two different flavors I'll share when we get home. But that is an awesome price. $8.79 or $29? $8.79. Grilled chicken strips, and they're zero carbs at Costco. And they're already cooked, you guys. You get a two pack for $13.99 and that's worth it for us to go into Arvita. So I'm excited about this. Now you guys, this is sliced grass fed beef sirloin. It has in it, here's the ingredients, steak seasoning, which are all these seasonings, and uh, sea salt and olive oil. Yes, sugar is the second to the last on here, but for one total gram per serving, I think that's a great deal to do. It's got otherwise clean ingredients. I'm not worried about that inky binky winny little bit of sugar. No, I'm not. Made it to my rest stop. While she's checking out the cheese. Yeah, perfect. These Teton Polish sausages are clean and they are so delicious and they're 100% grass fed beef. These are super duper good. They're super duper clean. You can read some of the ingredients here. Less than one carb per Polish sausage. Um, I've got chicken, steak, Teton, eggs. Basically, I think hamburger. We've got ground hamburger. We've got ground. We'll make patties. So that's what we'll do. Okay, you guys. Let's go pay for this at least $200 I've got in Oh, here. easy. So, you guys will see you at home. We may stop by Bash's and see what the hamburgers on sale for. We are home from shopping. We just took our glucose and ketones because at 4 p.m., which is right now, Harry has to start drinking his first delicious colonoscopy sure. beverage <laughs> of the day and drink a whole ton of water afterwards. So, I wanted to take that to see. 30 minutes when he is done, then we're gonna test him again to see how he reacted to what he had to do. But in the meantime, you guys, we're gonna inject that right here, that sequence right here. Okay, you guys, we are back from shopping. It is 3.52, Harry has to start drinking his drink oh at boy. 4 p.m. So we wanna do ketones and glucose and then see after he, 30 minutes after he drinks his drink to see if he stayed in ketosis during it. Ooh, that one hurt, man. Yeah, I got a good deep one that Nasty, time. nasty. Owies. 0.7, so that's higher. Yeah, it is. 0.07, you mean? Yep, no, 0.7. Mine's 0 0.8. So mine's the same as it was this morning. 92. Mine's 92. 92. And, and mine's 92. 92 and my...
No. Off. I don't want it off. I'm trying to get to that thing. Okay, but you do it on the side. Oh, you do? Yes. Now, wait a minute. You turned oh, it Oh, that's on. when it comes up. Okay, hit it. Uh, on. Okay. Where's your phone? It's in my back pocket. Hand me my phone. So you hit it again, or? There. Seven point. You were seventy. Yeah, it was seven point zero. That's what it was. But it's on your out glucose. Well, that where'd you get ninety two from? Ninety two was my my blood. That's what this says it is. That's a combined. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. It also gives you your combined GKI. Really. No, here. Yeah, no, Harry. I know, but let me just do this. You just put too heavy handed on you're it. Saying you're you an did. Idiot. You did too heavy handed. Can you get my phone too, please, dear? Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's right here next to you. That's why I asked. It's in my purse, honey, right there. Yes, there you go. Good boy. Mm. Three fifty three. You were 92 and 0 0.7. But I got to mark this across because we're going to do 0 0.7. And you're 7.3. You're in a low level of GKI ketosis. Okay, guys. Okay, you guys. We're going to share our grocery hauls. Okay, you guys, we've got to get through this quickly because he's got to get to drinking. Yes, he does. Went two bashes. You guys, $13.99 for toilet paper. Yep. Over a dollar a roll. That's, that's crazy. I got, and don't come after me. Yes, I know there's no sugar added. Yes, I know it has sucralose in it. Yes, I love them, and I'm not going to not have them. My bread and butter chips, no sugar added Mount Olive. That's what I get. I love them. They're delicious. We get kicked up horseradish for when we're going on our trip this weekend. Or this week. Next week. Tomorrow. Oh, dear, dear. Harry's going to uh, shred our extra char cheddar that we got. Got some uh, Teton Polish sausage. These are absolutely really clean. Really nice. Great ingredients. They're grass fed, you guys. It's right here. Okay. Good. And they're delicious, less than one carb, so count one carb per sausage. Anyway, we're gonna try this 100% um, all natural grilled chicken breast strips, you guys. Pretty clean. Here's the ingredients right here. Zero carbs for three ounces. And then at, we went to Bashes. I got them out all of at Bashes, but you guys, they had eighty-five fifteen on sale for two dollars ninety-seven cents. This package of uh, two pounds was six dollars and eighty cents, two point two nine pounds. This one was six ninety-eight for two point three five pounds. Then I got four each because these were on sale for $20. But if you guys remember when I go to Bashes, they're now like $12, $13 a pack. So this was pretty good savings. So they were about $10 each if you figure that out. And uh, this is a brand I've never tried before. Applewood Smoked Bacon. Looks pretty good. I got two. So we got four totally. Uh, we're going to try this uh, sous vide. It's sous vide, sliced grass-fed beef, and it's the sirloin, you guys. So I'm very excited about this. We got a huge package of organic, uh, cage-free. They're uh, peeled and ready to eat. So we got uh, 32 eggs in here. I got organic, my regular ones, my raw ones. And you guys, they're already out of the salt-free uh, Kerrygold, so I had to get this. Get your 
baking products now if you're going to do any baking. You can freeze butter. Harry and I, um, when we go off-roading or we go camping, it's nice to have a nice thermos full of hot coffee when we're driving with our Vita or something. So you guys, we got this. Um, Stanley is an old brand. It's 1913. We used to, we grew up with Stanley thermoses. Harry was a, um, what were you, a lineman? What would yeah, you call I, yourself? You can say lineman. Lineman yeah. uh, for the telephone company, among other things there for 30 years. So um, Pendleton, it's a good brand. National Park Collection. And uh, I got that. I'm very excited because I got this. It's not buffalo checked, but it's super nice. It's super comfy. The large fits me and gives me tons of room. So uh, they had beautiful colors. So I got this for Arvita for those chilly mornings when we want to take uh, Sally for a walk around the country when we go. Um, we got LaCroix, you guys. A case of LaCroix was on sale for $8.79. So we got the two different flavors. And then we got Waterloo for $7.99. Yeah, I should have picked up two of those. Actually. I got two uh, Zevia root beers at Bash's. They were $8.99 on sale. But remember, they were $10 something last time I was there. And I found Harry a pair of slippers. He doesn't want fancy, fluffy, frou frou slippers. Nope, don't like them. He said, don't like them, I don't want them. But he liked these, so I gotta show them. They are deer foam. And uh, made from natural foam deers? Yes, made from the foam deers. I'll have him foam. open these and share because they're cute, you guys, and they're nice. They have, oh, here we go. They have a nice sole because again, we're taking Sally in and out of Arvita. And it's nice to have a nice, comfortable pair of slippers in the rig. Harry, you stole my scissors. You stole them. You stole oh, yeah. them. But look at these. These are nice, you guys. They're super foamy. Deer foam. Got nice soles on them, you guys. Those are nice slippers. Come with their own red string. Yep, they come with their own red string so you don't lose them. Anyway, you guys, got those for him, and that's what we got for our shopping haul today. Now, you guys, I'm going to put all this away. Then I'm going to test my, I, Wendy, am going to taste the um, cream, the uh, brown butter cream cheese pumpkin spice delicious bites. Yeah, leave me some for tomorrow. Harry's not. He's going to drink his drink. So, you guys, we'll be back in the next segment after he's drank his drink. We're gonna wait uh, 30 minutes when he's all done with it and then test him. And I'm gonna have some of these and then we'll test me too. Yes, indeed. My molds are ready to pop out, you guys. I'm so excited. Did you notice I sprinkled some cinnamon on top? Some of you don't like cinnamon or can't have cinnamon, but I, I can have cinnamon and I put cinnamon on top. Right before I put them into the freezer, I just decided just to take it up a notch and put that on there. So basically they just pop right out. Super easy, super simple. I want to get um, some Halloween molds or some Christmas molds, maybe a little bit bigger for this particular candy because these are delicious. Now, if I were going to serve these at a um, particular venue, I would get a bowl of ice, put a bowl a plate on top of the bowl of ice so that it stayed cool, and put these on top of the little the little um, serving saucer. You know what I mean? So that it had the coolness underneath it to keep them from melting. These particular ones aren't going to melt that much because they are cheese cake in a dinky winky bite. These are miniature pumpkin cheesecake all day long, you guys. Smells like it. Here, I gotta taste it. I have got to taste them, but look how, let me put these on a little plate. Let me put these on a little plate. Just happened to have gotten one of my plates today. Just one though, that's all I had. This is for my, um, my little uh, whipper to go on. I would put this on top of a little bowl of ice underneath, you know?
and serve them. It's different kind, you know. The molds are dishwasher safe. For the for the uh, cheesecake bites, these good little guys, you could do um, like a tray with three different flavors. Let's say you did chocolate, you did cheesecake, you could. Um, have uh, several different ones and put these on here i think i'm going to turn these ones upside down so that they've got just a little bit different look to them i got my own little bite <sighs> that smells like pumpkin pie you guys That is what every pumpkin pie, every pumpkin wanted to grow up to be when they grew up, <laughs> is this flavor. It's a pumpkin pie, cheese, creamy, creamy, cheesecakey delight, you guys. Rich, rich, rich. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Another one for me, Wendy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is creamy, that is smooth, that is rich, that is decadent. You can taste the buttery, caramel, that cream cheese, the pumpkin spice caramel of the keto chow. It gives it the density to it, you guys. These are delicious. Pumpkin spice caramel cheesecake bites. Mini bites, that's what I'm calling these you guys they're so much better man are these good man is this good you can make a pie out of this stuff or a tort and slice it thin because this is very rich it's very very rich you guys but i just wanted to share how pretty it looks and you guys harry's got one minute before he tests it's been one hour since he drank his elixir for his colonoscopy and i want to get a blood test on him glucose wise so i'm going to put these in the freezer i'm going to bag and put them in the freezer and we'll get started with his blood work okay it's been an hour since i drank all that water and drank what they wanted me to drink and see how see how it affected me how did it taste uh it tastes like way too much sweetener um, and medicine -y at the same time. Yeah, let's see. How'd it come out? 107. Okay, everyone, we are inserting our last GKI and our glucose and what our GKI ketones were reading. Okay, hey guys, this is the last test of the evening. Yes, it is. I'm gonna go over here for a while. Go to the other side of I'm the I'm gonna work. visit the other side of my body. There you go, me too, I think. Ah, oh, you guys, I took a little nap. I was, watching, I was watching YouTube and Harry just woke me up. Yeah, I was doing dash to the bathroom. You were doing dashing to the bathroom? Yeah, Ooh, point nine. Really? Yeah. Two point. Wow. Oh. Man. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Man, that's nice. Ninety three. One oh nine. But a two. Wow, I know, right? Wow. 3.0, you were in high therapeutic ketosis. Wow. With a 109 and a 2.0. Yeah. That's the second time you've done that, isn't it? 3.0, I think that's the lowest 3.0 that I've ever done. Ooh, Harry. What? 
5.7. You are in a low to moderate level of GKI ketosis. So you guys, his prep kit did not bother him at all. Look at that. Mm. 5.7. So that's true. There was no um, there was no impact to his glucose or blood new with his new kit. So here's the deal. Tomorrow is Harry's colonoscopy. We may or may not upload a film. Depends on how he feels because he has to get up or stay awake until 334 to take his second dose and then he's going to be doing his thing then we've got to go up and do it so he may want to come home and go to bed so and I won't blame him for that so because Tuesday the following day we have to get up in the morning and leave and go to Tucson to get our Vita looked at so those are the two things we've got to do so there may or may not be a video tomorrow so don't get upset or worried everything will be fine if there's anything happening out of the ordinary I will leave it in the community tab so make sure you are subscribed make sure you get your notification button on make sure you check the community tab if you don't see us to see what's happening because I may just tell you guys here he's sleeping like a lamb and he's exhausted and has just all cleaned out squeaky pretty clean inside and he just needed to take a nap a yes, indeed. Job. yes indeed anyway you guys we're gonna go ahead and close out this video now. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Don't forget to hit the notifications so you get notified every time we upload a video or we put something on the community tab for everybody. Hey, you guys, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. This throws us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. Please, there she is. You are say goodnight. Oh yeah, well you're you're tired. I'm, oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, that was it. Yeah, that you was, got it. Okay, come back to me. Okay. We're gonna see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Yeah. 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 Yeah.